people just need to be patient, check the water levels. Even our local tubing companies have shut down and, and for safety reasons. Well, all this rain lately has also been causing problems in Asheville with dangerously high river levels. The Asheville Fire Department says they saved five people over the weekend from the dangerous waters and tubing rental places along with other water sports businesses have had to close their doors. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin has more on this story for you tonight. Roaring rivers loudly sending their own warning message in Asheville over the past few weeks. Heavy rain causing water levels to rise and currents to drag people to danger. A lot of people already had their weekends planned and, and didn't really take into consideration that the levels are super high and the water is flowing about four and a half times faster than normal. Officials at the Asheville Fire Department say they had two swift water rescues over the weekend, saving five people stuck in the French Broad River. People's lives were in danger and thankfully we were able to get to them quick enough and, and get them to safety. This video shows firefighters in yellow helmets making their way into the brush to save a stranded group of people. They say Saturday, two paddleboarders needed help. And Sunday, three people were stuck in a canoe. Over at Zen Tubing, marketing director Lynn Caldwell says the business has been forced to close on and off since the tubing season started. It's been a crazy season because we were open for one day and then we had just so much rain and so we were closed then for a couple of weeks. She says it's a tough hit financially during their busiest season. The company, which has two rentals in two locations on the river, opened up one rental place on Wednesday for the first time in a week. Everybody's excited about coming back to work. Reporting in Asheville, Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. The Asheville Fire Department reminds you to always wear life jackets when going on the river. Water levels have been receding since the rescues over the weekend, and several water sport businesses either opened for the first time today or hope to later this week.